This is what a dream deferred looks like. James is out here in the rain. And guess whose house he's running by? <laughs> he's going by Marcelo's house. Now, he's told himself that I'm not doing anything. I'm just out here. Good morning, good afternoon, and good night. You're watching Just a Mom That Sims. I'm KT, and I'm here today with a Flavorful Dreams mini episode called A Dream Deferred. And that's right, I am here with James Dream. He is missing Marcella, but not wanting to admit it. These plans for Marcella's outside. He is missing her so much that he is trying to plant the plants. You can see that the garden on this side looks sickly and he can't even get the apple and the banana to germinate. He is also afraid because there have been some earthquakes around. He didn't act afraid when Marcella was around, but now he is scared. He has a want to talk to Penny pizzazz and so i am going to have him try to chat with her but he can't because she's not there so let's look at who he knows he has established some basically he has associates one being his son he's probably been having a very hard time getting along with people he is also a mansion baron so he wants to own more things he wants to prepare reports because he's supposed to be going to work today i'm going to actually have him do something that i that he doesn't do often and he is going to take a vacation day as a salary person he just eternally looks unhappy and he hasn't been but he's not wanted to admit that what he did do was show up to marcella's food stand several times and it wasn't one of his finest moments however he didn't know any other way to see her and not have to admit that's what he was doing but after coming to the food stall three times i think we understood that's what was happening james's skill he has a higher logic and writing as well as fitness and that is all he does keep his body in good shape he's a level one video game and that's interesting to me we did run into him at geekcom which was just crazy to us i'm gonna have him go to the restroom in his stark white apartment it's been lonely there james wanted to buy an object worth a thousand simoleons and so we did that uh, when i play marcella she is part of the whims based series so i'll try to make that happen for james as well so we met that whim now i'm not going to just be playing him for whim based i want to show you what he's been up to because you may have been curious about james i'll admit sometimes i am he did grow up in a interesting home his mother was pretty loving he is really perpetuating a cycle by his father and even now since leo's wedding he has been dancing more <laughs> even though he didn't have a good time he enjoyed the act of dancing now he does that when nobody can see something else that he has done was get on meet and mingle what he didn't do was make a public profile but he has been doing auto match dates he can do that without anyone knowing it he doesn't have to put his name out there because for him that would be embarrassing that's actually how he met agatha crumple bottom but as you can see it hasn't gone anywhere but to an acquaintanceship level he definitely will only do semi-blind dates because he wants to inspect the person just like how he used to hold marcella to a certain standard he spends a lot of time online chatting with people trying to make friends but james has not been able to get anyone past that 50 percent bar because it's just so hard for him to find friends he's just confrontational so he's looking for matches why he thinks her face is cute, he doesn't know if he would want to date someone who wears a full-out afro. You know, he had a thing about straight hair. We have no clue how this person looks, so we're going to request another match. 
James has found a match. They are going to the art gallery right, right away. He notices that she's older. He does not like her outfit. He does not know if that's something that he can deal with. But she's got heart, so they have chemistry. Ask her some questions. Now, James is not good at small talk. He's a little bit chauvinistic, but he is going to ask her about her day. He is going to ask her if she is single. She's a bookworm. He's also going to ask her if she, if she has children. He's already uncomfortable. It says he's been around a playful sim. She has one child. He's going to complain about it being cold. This has been James's life. He goes out. He meets people from the dating app. And it just doesn't go well. If he's completely honest with himself, it's something to do to get him out of the apartment. You see the bubble machine with the line through it. The last time him and Marcella met in public when he asked her out was at the Spice Festival. She did the bubble machine and he really had an issue with it. He was not down for that at all. Honestly, James feels like he should be dating a younger woman, but they won't deal with him. I order drinks for the group because I don't know where our date went. So James just comes out and he drinks he goes on these dates because if he goes home it's just him and he's lonely he has not even been to leo's new home he's just gonna sit here drinking his day came back because she actually wandered off it looks like a pretty bad date they're not even talking maybe they're having a little conversation now she's trying to be friendly with him all of his dates go like this it doesn't matter the other person's personality he just has the hardest time getting along with people he's just gonna go peep the scene marissa's here so he's also gonna talk to her he's sitting here with darren he knows lily if you see lily you'll see why they get along look at their face <laughs> He, he spoke to Marissa, but Marissa's kind of like, uh, yeah, okay. He still want to talk about the temporary separation. I think he will do that. In his head, does he know he's divorced? He should. He's kind of telling them now. And Marissa's like, oh, really? Mm-hmm. She's like, every time I see him, he's complaining. <laughs> he's going to get on the Cinder dating app because, see, he's still upset. So maybe he'll find a one-night stand. Zoe Patel looks like his type. I think the one night stand didn't happen. So let's go back to me and mingle. So James is out here in the rain. And guess whose house he's running by? <laughs> he's going by Marcella's house. Now he's told himself that, you know, I'm not doing anything. I'm just out here. Miles is here. So Miles knows exactly who he is. Let's see how this goes. James is making a joke about marriage miles will laugh at that a little bit but he knows that james has some foolery in him and he knows a lot about their relationship he's already got a negative buff he's just wondering what are you doing here and james is all you know i was just in the neighborhood i'm wondering if my ex-wife can come out and talk I just want to say hi to her miles is gonna say no I don't think that's what you're going to be doing, and you can go home. So he's actually browsing those apps again. He's going to send Katrina Caliente a... He will have his hands full with her, but he doesn't know any better. James is going to go home. It is beautiful and snowing in the city. James struggles uh, to cook because he's level one cooking because he didn't do any of the cooking. He's very limited. He doesn't want to eat any of these things really but what else is he gonna do he will try to do just some eggs and toast james is very miserable he is cooking and struggling and that's funny because he told marcella that anybody could could cook anybody he's thinking about steak and potatoes and asparagus and knowing he's not gonna get that unless he orders it <laughs> And he is just done with it. This is James's life. This is the life he chose. But he did not think that it would ever turn out this way. He never thought Marcella would leave him. They had been together since they were pretty much kids. They had a grown son together. James is just thinking about his life. Well, I'll go to work tomorrow from 9 to 7. I'll come home. He didn't value Marcella or his son Leo much. He remember her wanting to go to the movies for popcorn and bringing him coffee. He's been listening to music because she liked to listen to music. 
He wants to send a love email to Marcella, even though he absolutely should not. He wants to get to know Leo. Will Penny, even though it'll be up to him to do it because we're not going to be playing James, but I just wanted you to see his life. Do you think he regrets letting Marcella go? Even now, he's angry while at the same time wanting to write this love email to her. He sent it, but he's even mad dancing. This is what a dream deferred looks like. What we can learn from James is to follow your dreams, be kind, value what you have, because if you don't, you could look like this, a dream deferred. So until next time, keep simming, be happy, and always have a blessed day. Bye-bye.